The big question is, how do you edit a photo in Photoshop? I mean, Snoop Dogg introduced me to Photoshop. Wait, 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 wait. Before you start scratching your mind wondering what I've been drinking, this is the story. I had no idea that uh, one lazy afternoon would be the beginning of me being called the Photoshop demigod. If you've been in Kampala, you know how dusty and chaotic this city is. Imagine in 2006, my god, <laughs> the sun was scorching. I quickly thought of paying a friend of mine, Gerald, a visit. We were in art school together and I found Gerald seated on his computer staring at an image. He even missed my greeting and that was strange. I, I came closer to see what had consumed him and there he was, Gerald with Snoop Dogg, hand in hand. I mean, I was psyched. You guy, how did this guy do it? Please note, this is 15 years ago when internet and YouTube weren't a thing even in Uganda. What I had just seen was magic. I was excited. I had to learn this stuff too. I mean, Jared introduced me to Photoshop. He shared the software with me and mentioned that it would expire in 30 days. But 30 days? Why? Would I have learned what he had just done? The next 30 days were magic. I barely ate, slept or even talked. It was hard at first because I had no guide on what to do. I was figuring it out slowly on my own. But by the end of the first week, I had figured out a few things of course here and there. I've never photoshopped that much ever. I photoshopped myself with JC, with Snoop Dogg, with Bob Marley. Name them. It really looked horrible but it was fascinating. I felt like a guru of sorts. I errored, I tried, I learned. Today I'm sharing the basic knowledge with you in a very rudimentary way to help you come with that intimidating Photoshop interface. I'm going to explain all the basics like I'm explaining to a five-year-old just for your understanding. Forget the complicated tutorials. This one is a dummy tutorial. If you're a beginner, you should subscribe right now because you don't want to miss my next tutorial. Let me give you a second to do that. Okay, let's do this. Just click that button there. Done? You're awesome. Let's get into the computer and I show you how. Hey, just like I had told you now, this time around we are right into Photoshop. Let me just take you through an overview of exactly what we are going to do in this particular tutorial. I'm going to go take you through the general interface, what you really need to look at when you're editing portraits, of course, for beginners, then uh, photo editing tools, the basic tools you need really to get a technical competent portrait, a portrait that looks good enough to be shared with family and whatever on social media. Then I'm also going to show you how to crop images for better composition. Then I'm also going to show you how to remove those things like pimples, blemishes, and of course, simple matching of skin. Then you're also going to learn how to smoothen skin. This is going to be super, super, super easy. We're not going to use the technical high-end retouching stuff, but we're going to use basic kind of tools. This you can even use when you're editing your weddings and those moments that don't really need really, really high retouching. Then you're also going to learn how to sharpen an image. Now, this is going to help you, especially if you take pictures that have a bit of soft focus, pictures that are not really, really, really sharp. I'm going to show you how to bring sharpness into those pictures. Then I'm also going to show you how to do basic light corrections. Like if a picture is overexposed or rather how is too dark, how do you brighten it up? If it is very bright, how do you darken it up? I'm going to show you all those knobs. Then finally, I'm going to show you how to save your images so that you can share them in the highest quality that there is on social media or wherever you're going to share those images, right? Let us dive into this. Now, this is the interface of Photoshop, just like you see it here. Now, this is the, let me first come here at Windows and then I come at Workspace. Mm -hmm. Then I'll just come here and say Reset Essentials, just like that. By me saying Reset Essentials, I'm trying to reset Photoshop the way it comes, basically, how it comes by default. This is what you're going to see in your interface. Of course, these are the tools, like uh, this is your toolbox here, what you see here, all the tools here, these are the tools we use to 
build to edit pictures of course this is like the menu bar you've used microsoft word microsoft office and all that yeah these are this is the menu bar then now if you you are aware photoshop works in layers and the like now all these palettes here of this side we shall go deeper into these palettes as we get there but the only palette i want you to look at right now is this palette here that has layers channels and parts if you don't see it you just come here out windows and you click at onto the layers panel you just come and click on to layers so that it comes back here right okay now let me show you how to bring in a photo in photoshop okay now how do you bring in a photo in photoshop there are really very very many ways you can either double click here and then you go mine is at the desktop you go at the desktop or wherever you want your pictures are they may be in a c or wherever wherever you keep your pictures mine is at the desktop the one i'm going to work on today and then you just scroll and then when you find it oh where is it you just can't seem to find mine okay here it is this is the picture i'm going to work on you just double click on to it just like that and uh the other way you can do you can still come here into file you say open and still mine is at the desktop you come and then you know just look for it and then double click and it comes you may be wondering oscar what if i want to bring in like three pictures at once you come still yet file open when you get wherever they are i don't know if they have more than three you can press uh, i may want to bring in uh, walter deville uh and maybe who else you just press control on your keyboard and you select the various pictures you want to bring in and then you click open and they will come into photoshop but i don't want to bring in all those yeah the other alternative you can just come here minimize photoshop a bit you get where the picture is and just drag it in i mean these these are super super simple things i i believe even you 12 year old kid can do this or nine year old kid this is typically simple so you just come here let us double click here it comes and then you say we look for our image uh ooh, where is the picture i don't know it gets lost but here it is i double click onto the picture now this is the picture we're going to work on this is my daughter this is my daughter crown and uh, let me just give you an overview of exactly what we are going to do now here in this particular picture we're going to uh of course remove this tiny baby rash over her face of course this saliva is going to be removed we are going to clean her dress of course she, she was having a very very nice time of her life i'm also going to show you how to remove this baby rash all over here we're going to try to smoothen her skin yeah and give it that evenness and the like we are going to i'm going to show you how to remove these particular i don't know the less had somehow tore from playing too much the same applies here we remove all of this so that we straighten it out and then i'm also going to show you how to remove these objects these foreign objects that you see here it is going to be really a simple simple tutorial then after that i'm going to show you how to enhance her face and give the picture the general picture pop okay ready okay let us start into this already now here this is what we're going to do just like i had told you photoshop is a layer based software it works basically in layers and that is exactly what we are going to do but i'm not going to make the layers so many so that you guys don't get confused but just follow what i do right now and you know you will get to understand more and more as we move along so here it is uh, i've left the link of the picture in the description below if you guys want to follow along i mean just click the link below and download it so that you can follow along right let us dive into this now you come here you see this layers panel yeah like i told you if you don't find the layers panel you just come and click onto the layers and then it will show up so you create just a new layer on top now we're going to name this layer blemishes how to rename it you just come and click here okay let me just take it back just a little bit so if you want to create a new layer we want to create a new transparent layer that we are going to use right on top of this image because we do not want to work on the pixels of the of the photo because if you make a mistake you have to you know you have to either get this picture 
you have to get a, a new picture or you have to redo the whole thing from the very start but we don't want to go back and forth so we're going to work on separate layers so that we are able to um uh, on separate layers so that we are able to have full control of our editing yeah that's why we're not editing on the pixels themselves so in order to create a new transparent layer you just come and click here see this that just here it said create new so this layer we're going to name it i'll name it pimples and blemishes right just like that so the next thing we're going to do we're going to select this layer just like this uh, now if you want to zoom in just a minute okay now this, this is okay now i'll just come and delete this and go back one more time let us first go through the tools that we are going to use in photoshop here yeah? i'll just create a help layer just for our guidance now here it is uh if you want to zoom in an image yeah definitely you get the zoom tool this one here and that just zoom in like that by clicking definitely your mouse if you want to zoom out you press the alt key on your keyboard and then you click out you don't leave the old key it's simple as that you know and uh, if you want to zoom in a particular place maybe you want to zoom in only the eyes you press your mouse key button your mouse button down and then you just you know select like you drag it and then you select that part that you want to fill the screen just like that and you will have it fill the screen it is that simple now we don't want to go all the way to zoom in all the way like that so that is the zoom tool now we're going to go this other this tool is called the it is the hand tool basically what the hand tool helps you it helps you to move the image around within the within photoshop just like you see if you want to move it this way yeah but when you're editing most of the times let me just show you for example if i have this, this selected if you're editing you just press the space bar space bar and the move tool will automatically show up basically you press it down and then you drive your mouse button uh, all around your mouse all around and position the picture where you want to edit it edit we're not going to look at the, the pen tool the text tool right now we're basically going to look at the ones that we use for editing portraits now these are also tools we use for selecting various things we're not going to look at those we're going to look at the crop tool the crop tool basically if you have a smartphone definitely you know what crop is cropping is cropping def definitely is about you know you remove the things you, you you crop out the things you don't want you cut out the things you don't want for example if i don't want to have these things into the picture i'll just make sure i don't crop them in now after doing that i'll just press enter then uh we're not going to look at the eyedropper the patch tool definitely we're going to look at that uh no we don't want to crop no don't crop uh, we are going to look at uh, the patch tool now we have the patch tool. the patch tool is basically used for removing big 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 blemishes now when you look at the kind of blemishes we usually have on two people we have uh, small small spots on the skin like pimples then we have such big blemishes when you look at this she has she's dark here and then uh, when you look at also the dress here the, these are some kind of big blemishes that we really want to get rid of this is also some kind of big blemish so we use the patch tool for removing big blemishes then underneath the patch tool there is a spot healing tool the spot healing tool as you hear it it is used for removing spots on the face or on the photo this this is this is these are going to be the tools you're going to use mainly of course the brush tool is going to help us paint but we may not use it in this particular case the clone stamp is also used for covering up basically things that we want to pack to cover up when the things we want to cover up with other cleaner objects so let us dive into this right now so we are now going to get into the actual editing we've looked at the tools and then the next thing we are going to do let us now look at how to remove blemishes let me delete this i'll just come and drag it into this recycle bin here 
just like that. So how do we remove the blemishes? The blemishes we're going to remove, you're going to remove these, this baby rash you're seeing here. You're going to remove all these particular spots. And then we are also going to clean the dress and all that because those are the blemishes we are looking at. And you come here, create a new layer. How do you create a new layer? You just come here and look for this particular file icon just there. And then you come and rename this blemishes and pimples just like that so what are we going to do right now so we're going to come get our zoom tool and zoom in so we are first going to remove blemishes in the face how do we do that of course small spots for small spots we say we use what we said we use a sport healing brush. This is the sport healing brush, just like that. Okay, so you come select onto this layer, you click onto it and then right click and then you make sure your brush is, its hardness is at 100%. Then the other tip I would love to give you, you make sure the pimples you're removing, the brush you're using is slightly, not overly big, but slightly bigger than the kind of pimple you are editing. Don't make the brush so big, make it a bit small so that it doesn't really take over because when you make the brush so big, now like that, it doesn't work. So what we are going to do, you're just going to come and then we make the brush very, very, not very small, of course, small. And then you come, Oops, sorry. So now you see when you click here, it is not working. Do you know why it is not working? Because we did not click this sample or layers. You make sure this sample or layers is clicked just like that. If you're removing the pimples so that it, it works very, very well. So you just come and see how it has worked like that. So you just come and click over the pimples just like that. See how easy it is? I mean, this is piece of cake like that. Photoshop is that simple guys. It's that simple. It is not a complicated thing as people really tend to make it. It is super, super, super easy, you know? By the end of this video, you should be a star. You should be very awesome at this, man. Don't you see? Very easy. So you come and you just remove. See, just magic. See? Ah, so. It is that easy. So you just come and remove this. I'm not going to make the editing edit, edit so perfect because really I don't want to make the tutorial so long, but it is that simple. You see, just like that. We remove all this baby rash. I'll run the video here so that I I edit this faster, faster, but you get the point. So you come also here on the dress and then you begin removing all this. Remove all this, you know how playful kids get. So basically 
it is only one tool that is helping us remove all this stuff. I mean, it is... Super, super easy. I mean... I mean, if we had time, I would go through and make it perfect. But since we don't have really that much time, yeah, I don't want the tutorial to be too, too long, but... Okay, let us look at our progress right now, how we are so far. I mean, this is, that's the before, that's the after. Before, after, let me just take you to the hand here, where there is a lot of, there was a lot of baby rush. That's the before and that is the after, before and after. I mean, look at the dress, before, I mean, it is super, super, super easy. So now we know how to remove blemishes. I'm not going to go into details really. Of course, if I, if it was a very, it was about uh, really perfecting the image, I would have gone through all the details and the like. Now we want, we don't want to keep these many layers because I want to keep this very, very simple for you. So we are going to come and right click here and we shall say merge down, just like this, like that. We are merged down so that where the effects we have applied, you know, get onto the picture. So the next thing we are going to do, we are now going to remove the, these particular big, big blemishes. So how are we going to do that? We're just going to come, zoom in here, and we look for the blemishes we want to remove. Now, you look at this, I don't, the stress seemed to be a bit stained. So we're going to get this, look for the patch tool and we begin patching it up. So what the patch tool basically does, it you just circle whatever, wherever you want, there is a blemish or there is a blotch and move it to a place that is close by that doesn't have a blotch. Basically you're telling the computer, hey, I want you to fetch certain parts of this dress that are not dirty and you play replace them here. So just look at this, you just come circle the part that you don't want and move it around the past part you want just like that see how it's been covered simple as that same thing if i want to, i want to get rid of this patch here i just come here and then move it close by to where it is clear and then boom and we have it there so same applies here so basically guys this is simple stuff same applies here just come in like that so the patch tool is just for helping us you know for, for just helping us removing black blotches and those big big blemishes you know i did we did not uh, actually edit this particular hand but uh, let us see so I think we now know how to remove blemishes and of course, removing matching skin tones. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to smoothen this skin. I know that is what most of you have been waiting for. Now, I want you to be very, very, very careful. Actually, more attentive. I need your maximum attention at this point. Now, this is where most people mess up. And uh, this is a trick that is going to change your pictures forever. This trick here, is I see many, many photographers use it. Actually, even professionals use this particular trick to smoothen skin, you know? Now, let us do this. You just come into filter. You say camera raw filter, just like that. So you come and zoom it in. Okay, now in the camera raw filter, this, these are the things we are going to do in the camera raw filter. Basically, in this particular filter, one, we are going to smoothen our skin from there. We are going to improve the sharpness of the image from this camera raw filter. We are going to do basic light corrections in this camera raw filter still. And of course, what else? We can also add effects if we want using the camera filter, but we are not going to add effects from here. What we are going to do is basically, again, I recap, light corrections. After doing light corrections, we are going to, of course, smoothen the skin. Then we are also going to sharpen this image and give it that kind of, uh, you know, uh, like it was shot with uh, a very, very expensive camera, right? Let us get into this. Now, how do we do basic light 
corrections. Now we can, when you look at this, this part of her has is is a bit in the shadow, you know, and uh, we want to brighten this part up, and we want maybe to cool down the highlights and to make it more more vibrant. So what do we do? We're going to first come here into the temperature here first. Now temperature temperature is like uh, it's called in cameras it's called white balance, but temperature basically determines how blue or how yellow an image is. So if you take the picture this way, it gives it that blue cold tone. If you take it this way, it gives it that warm kind of tone. So, but here we want the whites to look as white as possible, you know? So you just come here and then you look for that spot. Alternatively, if you don't want to gauge, there is what they call a white balance tool here. This tool here, this, this, this thing you see here, see this? this white balance tool. Now this, you look for a place in a picture that is supposed to be white and you click at it just like that. White or gray are good colors to choose. So you can come and just click, you know, see how it automatically just works. Basically, you just click at a gray or a part that is meant to be white in a picture. For example, if the wall is meant to be white, I could just come and click here and it will automatically give me a start give me a starting point yeah and in my opinion i feel this is fine i'll maybe just add in a little bit how i cool it down a little bit more just uh, a little bit more not that is so much just a minus okay. six is enough then i'm going to come and move this the exposure just a little bit exposure is how bright you want it to be if you take it down definitely it is going to appear dark if if you take it up it is going to appear bright so exposure is how bright or how dark the image is so here you just come and just punch it just a little bit not so much then we're going to come for the contrast bit usually i first skip that one especially if you're editing dark skin when you're editing of course light skin it is very very easy for you to touch the contrast and the like but we are if you're editing dark skin most of these softwares in my opinion weren't really didn't seem to be synchronized for people of dark skin so what you do for contrast you don't put in contrast right as yet you have to back off a little bit and then uh, you first work on to the other things like uh, you enhance the shadows so that you come back onto the contrast bit later right let us get into this so we're going to come into the highlight thing and then you just put the highlights down because when these are the highlights now these what you see here these bright parts the top of the nose you see those are the highlights we're talking about so you, you don't want to them um, them to be overly shining so you just come and punch the highlights down for shadows we want to enhance the shadows we want to get more like more details into these shadows which because this is a baby picture and you don't want it to be like a, a picture of a, of a soldier or something with too much contrast so we want to have it, it to have that soft baby feel so you just come in you know boost it just here like that so we want to boost the shadows so that we have more life into the shadows then uh, the whites definitely you may have to get some details into her less so you just come and punch it down just a little bit then we are going to come and say the blacks we want of course his hair to be dark my, my, my daughter has naturally brown hair so we don't need to darken it but we shall come and punch down the blacks a little bit i usually use i punch down the blacks instead of using the contrast panel because the contrast somehow affects the highlight and uh, usually i want only and only the shadows to be affected so i usually use the black knob just to punch down a little bit see how the dress gets more contrast yeah let me just just like that okay so there is also this part of texture if you want to emphasize all these textures so you just come and just punch it up just a little bit around eight basically what texture does let me just zoom it in so that you guys have a look i'll get the zoom tool still click here and so with texture you just come and when you see see how it emphasizes the textures it brings back that 
uh, that crispness in an image, but we don't want to be overly sharp because this is a baby picture, you know. But if you're doing documentary style pictures, this would be a very, very good kind of thing to add in. Then clarity, what clarity does is, uh, basically, if you've looked at makeup artists to makeup, they do something called contouring. Now, what is contouring? Contouring basically is uh, the darkening and is the emphasizing of certain parts of the of the body of the face using uh, dark shades of foundation or dark shades of uh, okay of high or, or rather using highlighters so usually if they want a sharp nose they give it a bit of darkness here on the side and then they highlight also the nose to give to make that you no know, to give the nose an illusion of it being sharp that is what makeup artists do so what clarity does it emphasizes contours in an image let me just push it up for you see how, what happened it, it is not really adding in sharpness but it is emphasizing the contours within an image you see because when you look at the shadow zones in this in crown space they are really being you know made thick and thicker but we don't want a lot of clarity i'll just come and push it at around two then the haze basically the haze is similar to contrast but it removes that like you hear the haze the fog that is usually on top of a picture so let me just zoom it in so you just come if you push push it far definitely it will give you those tones and we don't want those so you just come and just push it just a little bit at the front again i'll just pump the shadows a little bit just there so that we have them more emphasized then of course vibrancy vibrancy is the clever way of uh, making the image pop yeah, so we shall just come and make the image pop just a little bit, okay? But be, be, be very careful with this particular knob because sometimes they get onto your screen and they look painterly. You don't want to take it to a level where the clothes look painterly. No, we don't want that. We just want a little pop, just a little Caribbean pop. Then saturation, definitely you add, it is about adding the intensity of how thick the colors are in an image. Yeah, yeah that is what saturation is. So you just come in, see, but we don't want that. Of course, we, we don't want that. I feel the saturation in the image was really okay. So we shall just keep it at, uh, I think a three is enough. Yep. So now we are going to go on to the next knob. This one here, it is called uh, the curves now the curves basically helps us to create mood for the whole picture so you will just come here and uh, say okay i want the highlights to pop but we don't want them to pop we shall just have them pop just a little bit and i want the lights to be a bit up or i want them to be a bit dim so whatever you want this is where you see guys people like uh I don't know if you've seen if you've seen pictures of Anli Provici and the like. This is the knob they use to set the mood of their pictures for them to have that kind of either a calm tone or a hype kind of tone. This this is the knob they use most of the times. So you just come and I'll just keep the lights just at minus three. Then uh, the ducks, I would want the ducks to be not so much. Then the shadows, I'll just come and make them a little bit no i don't want to make them a little bit dark because these are these are just uh, pictures of a baby i mean i don't want them to be so contrasty so basically this is what curves does then sharpness now this is where i need your maximum attention i know most of you have been waiting for this now we are going to sharpen and smoothen our skin here this is where most photographers make the biggest mistakes right let us see now when we are sharpening we don't want to sharpen the whole image to have sharpness no we want only particular parts of this image to be sharp so how do you do this there is an old key or option key if you're using a mac on your keyboard you press that have you pressed it okay now you come and first click onto the masking bit here as you're pressing the old key down and then drag it forward see what happens now every part that is white is going to be sharpened and every part that is black is not going to be sharpened making sense so we don't want the curtains to be sharpened we just want only the eyes and the edges of the picture to be sharpened so you just come and drag it up front so that you reduce the amount of parts that are being sharpened we don't want the curtains really sharpened we just want the eyes only and the edges of the image so 
those are the parts we want to be sharp those are the parts because we don't want the image to look unreal see just like that and you leave the old key so we are now going to apply the sharpness you just come in apply the sharpness the sharpness i don't know if that's the screen can show you the difference but the sharpness is only and only being applied to the eyes yeah i, I don't know that now that is how it is without the sharpness and when we move it forward the eyes gets sharper okay the radius detail i usually leave those at, de at default now this is the magic part that i wanted you guys to know there is what they call luminance luminance is a way of quickly fixing the skin like smoothening the skin now this is you just come and move this forward once you move luminance forward like that the skin begins getting smooth but remember we had sharpened our eyes so our eyes are not going to be that affected by the luminance right right so you just come and we don't want to overly smoothen it we just want just partial smoothening because we don't want our baby to have a skin like uh, she they have used the snapchat filter on her right so we just want her to look just beautiful with a nice skin you know those snapchat filters that are uh, that give people that kind of uh, melting skin we don't want that kind of skin so we we just want to give her a little bit of you know smoothening not that over smoothening so we just come after that luminance you just come and you come and also get onto the color knob now color knob this one helps us okay this image doesn't have the noise but uh usually you take pictures and you see like uh, a picture appears as if it has how should i call it in the professional language it's called noise but it it appears like they have poured things like power down it now this colored knob would help you remove those things you just move it and push it to zero and it will clear away all those things so uh, the other things i think that is what we are going to do for in the camera roll filter as of now we shall just come here and say okay i mean guys this is so so super easy i mean just go start taking your pictures and become a professional photographer if you haven't yet started really so i think you guys we know we know now what we we've done so the next thing we're going to do we are just going to come and remove these see these okay uh you come let's get the selection tool this one here and then you just come click here and then you come clicking all around like that uh before you click all around let me just show you, you just come here that that and you select all around that particular part so you right click and say feel you come here and choose content aware and then you say okay very simple super super simple that is how you remove that stuff still here you come select all around right click you say feel still you come and select content aware and you say good okay as simple as that so the next thing we are going to do we are going to get this clone stamp do you remember the clone stamp because this thing has not really perfected it but since it has not before we get to the clone stamp let us try another time you just come and select just this part only you right click and set feel and say content aware still it has not given us the results so what do we do about this so you come here and uh, we select that this part but as you're selecting you select a big a big chunk from all around here like that and then you get the clone stamp just here and then you press alt on your keyboard you make sure the opacity is an 100 and the flow is an 100 you press alt on your keyboard to select a particular part and then you click yeah to select you press all you press alt or option and click to select and then you come here and just paint over just like that and then you right click and you say deselect very very simple i mean how simple can really photoshop be you see how we've used the content aware it is the same thing we are going to still do here you still come here 
we select this mask, right click, you say fill, and you say content aware. Just that simple. Same applies here. Right click, fill, content aware. And I mean, how simple can that be? Anyhow, let me just show you now how to crop these images in a way that is that improves the composition. Now, there is money on the ground here, on the floor here, and we don't want all that. And we want to crop the dress from around here. So you just get this. Now, this particular image is going to be used on uh, Instagram. Yeah, so what do we do? We are going to come, what are the dimensions of Instagram? It's usually a five, five inches by five inches and uh, resolution 300. Alternatively, there, these are all sizes you can put into the image, but we want Instagram size, which is you come and type five, I N, yeah, five inches by five inches, resolution 300. So you just come and click here and then you drag, you place the image in the center and then we come crop, crop, So because she's the main point of emphasis, I would want this line to cross into her. If you, I'll give, do some videos on uh, composition and how to use the rule of thirds to make certain people, people in composition more emphasized, but this is how we do it. So I'll have this line cross in the center of her face so that she's the first person to be visible in the picture than me. And then I'll just come here and say, I'm cropping using what they call the rule of thirds, where I just have the golden section lie on to one of these lines, because that is how the human brain perceives beauty. I'll go into details of that when I'm doing composition videos, then I'll just come here and press enter. Boom. I had promised to show you how to save an image. Now I'm going to save this image for you. You just come here into file, you say, save as and then you come onto the desktop make sure you save it in jpeg format here you come and say jpeg this is the default format that your phone reads this is the default format that uh, uh, social media platforms accept to upload so you just come here and say jpeg you, i want to place mine on the desktop i will name it crown edited then I'll save it as a JPEG. I usually love saving it to the maximum value here. And then I say, okay, and boom, that's it. So guys, I think that's that for today. I've taken you through just a recap what we've done today. We have learned one, uh, how to do We've, we've seen the basic Photoshop interface. We have learned how to do the basic Photoshop editing tools. We have learned how to crop and frame a composition in the right way. Then we've learned how to remove blemishes and pimples in an image. We've learned also how to smoothen skin. We've learned the basic light corrections in the picture. Then we've also learned how to sharpen an image but make sure you subscribe to this channel right now so that you don't miss my next tutorial. With that, I would have to say bye and adios. I'll see you next time. My name is Oscar Teke again.